have cabin fever? Don't we all? But we're in luck. Pop culture guru Maud Garrett joins us now. She's taking a little bit of time to share with us her favorite cures for cabin fever. She's joining us live now via satellite. First of all, Maud, where are you and how are you staying entertained? Joy, I tell you what, I am day, I think, 19 of quarantine at the moment. I am here in L.A. Uh, it is a definite just dead zone at the moment with no one out there because everyone is locked inside their houses, being safe, being smart, but also needing things to do. So I do have a bunch of recommendations on Tubi.tv, which is a, str a free streaming service, and I've got things for the entire family and things for people that don't have kids or once they've gone to bed. Okay, lay it on us. Tell us what you're watching right now now because Tubi has a lot to offer. Certainly does, over 20,000 movies and TV shows. But on there at the moment, my recommendations for those that are maybe teenagers or adults or lone wolves or, you know, you need a date night, uh, I want to recommend a, the 2002 sci-fi thriller Minority Report starring Tom Cruise, directed by Steven Spielberg. This movie was way ahead of its time, and it's arguably one of my favourite Tom Cruise films because it discovers the notion of pre-crime where they try to actually solve murders before it even happens. But it's the best use of use and uh, structure of futuristic technology that I've ever seen. I love this film. It's got 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, so definitely that one. Uh, if you want something to put you in an instant good mood, this movie was probably the underrated movie of 2016. It's called Sing Street, and it's uh, set in Dublin in the 80s during a recession, so you kind of know what that's feeling like. Um, and a kid tries to find his identity by joining a band, but that is perfect for date night. You're instantly going to be in a good mood, and it's 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. Everyone who's seen this movie has loved it. I can vouch for that. So that is my absolute recommendation. And another movie in 2005 was Aeon Flux, starring Charlize Theron as an amazing action heroine. But what was interesting about this film, I remember seeing it in cinemas when it came out. Mm -hmm. But the premise, when I rediscovered it, was very interesting. It's set in the 25th century after a virus hit in the 21st century, almost wiping out the entire population. So maybe that's our real world. We can escape into what would happen down the line. Wow, that's interesting. That hits a little close to home. But I, I will be honest with you, Maude, I've not seen any of those movies. So I have a lot of catching up to do here. But I was looking at the website last night, Tubi.tv. There is Nostalgia TV. Now, people my age and older will remember shows like uh, Family Affair. You're probably too young to remember that one. Tons of TV on there. I Documentaries. Know that one. Yeah, okay. Westerns, Home Improvement, Bollywood, LGBTQ, lots of get fit type things with yoga and kickboxing. Lots of stuff for kids, yeah. too, right, Maude? Yeah, and I think the family-friendly movies are where it's at, especially when the kids are at home and we're just spending a lot of time trying to balance it all and also not spend so much money. So some of the family-friendly movies I'd love to recommend. I'm going to kick it off with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which came out in 2014, because 30 years ago yesterday was the very first release of the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie that I grew up watching. So it's so great to see this franchise last the test of time. Um, that one with Megan Fox as April O'Neil. It actually got nearly half a billion dollars at the box office when it was released, so I'm going to recommend that one. Also, Rugrats Go Wild, which came out in 2003, featuring two of Nickelodeon's biggest properties. you got the Rugrats meeting the wild thorn breeze. And what's really cool, if the adults do get involved and watch that one, listen out for Spike the Talking Dog because it's voiced by Bruce Willis. So they're my oh. recommendations. Also, there's some Shrek Forever After on there with, like, the familiar Shrek family. Um, there's just so much to watch, so I recommend it all. Tintin as well is a great one, directed by Steven Spielberg. There's a lot mm -hmm. to get through. Absolutely. All right, Maude, it's great to talk to you. Remind our viewers where they can find this free TV. Sure thing. Yes, Tubi.tv takes about 10 seconds to sign up because you don't need a credit card because it doesn't cost anything. Good deal. Never a better deal. All right, Maude, thank you so much and stay safe out there. Thanks, Joy. You too.